What is going on everybody? My name is Nico. Welcome back to another Reg G video. Been a while since I've said that. I don't know when this video is going to go up. I think I'm actually going to move it up in the upload schedule. I just want to give a quick brief update here at the front of the video. Uh, I am currently house hunting with my wife. So you may have noticed recently there have been a couple days where I've missed uploads. And this is the reason. This is the reason right here because my wife and I are house hunting. We're touring houses. We're applying for loans and doing all that fun shenanigan stuff. So... Uh, I have to miss a couple days because my wife needs me to go look at a house with her. Or we need to do XYZ. So forgive me. The teams are coming. Everybody that's got teams featured are coming. I promise. It's just going to take a little bit more time just depending on how many days I have to miss here and there. And I appreciate the understanding. This is one of my teams, which is why I didn't jump right into the team breakdown. I built this team for a local. Uh, it, I think it's better for best of one. It didn't do too great at the local. Like the, the sets were really good and competitive. Um, but I definitely think it's a better best of one team. No doubt. It is a Kyogre team featuring Overquill and Glamora. Not the you know meteor beam power herb glamora that we're used to seeing at this point but this is a mortal spin glamora because there is a stall option available with the wo chien but the idea is we're actually running barbarage on overquill and are able to get the boost on barbarage because glamora will poison everything on the field so really fun strategy here i think the team's a lot of fun and i hope you guys enjoy it let me know in the comments below what's your favorite stall tactic i'm personally a big fan of glamora i know a lot of people like toxapex let me know yours in the comments below but let's get into some battles here with this team all right i haven't played in a minute so i've got a feeling i'm gonna be a little rusty here i'm gonna admit i think i'm gonna be a touch rusty i think i want to lead with huh this one's gonna be very tricky no doubt i think i want to lead with these two bring quill in the back and bring ogre that could be half decent i kind of want to fit wo chan onto this squad if possible um, but I don't know how possible it's actually going to be. So I think I'm just going to rock with these guys. All right. I like the fit. I like the fit. Me right on in for Rigoraf. That's fine. Um, I, I, uh, I genuinely think one of the best options I have is to go for a knockoff on the Miraidon. If they Terra Electric, we're in trouble. They're just going to go for a straight Electro Drift. I hope we can take one. My Mine Center is pretty bulk. Okay. Okay, that's how we're feeling. All right. That's how we're feeling. All right, that's how we're going to start the day. All right, so we get the poison down. They're going to go for Psychic. I genuinely think I get Overquill in here. I think I get the Quill in. And I'm just going to go for a... I think I want to go for Sludge Bomb on Farigaraf and just protect this turn. I think that's the move. They're going to go for the Electro Drift into the Quill. That's perfect. I want to get as much chip down on Farigaraf as I can. That's good. They are buried, but that's good chip. They go for Hyper Voice. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of wishing I would have gone for a little more chip onto the Miraidon at this point. We're going to get Ogre in. We're going to Terra the Ogre. And we're going to go for Origin Pulse and Barbarage here. I could also Crunch. That is an option. But I think Barbarage is just the better play. We're going to Terra to the Grass Typing. Okay. 
Unfortunately, we didn't get spikes down. That's really upsetting that we didn't get our spikes down. But it's a good lead on their part that we couldn't get the spikes down. Nat's going to take the KO. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. We're going to take a little bit of chip there. Origin Pulse is going to connect on the Farigaraph. Down goes Farigaraph. Beautiful. That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. The crit at the start of the battle really sucks. Okay, here comes the hands. And Prim. Okay. We actually have a pretty good group into this. We actually have a pretty good duo into this final two. Um, I think what I want to do... I think I need to go for Origin Pulse. I'm going to go for Origin Pulse and I'm going to protect. They could just fake out. I think that's very likely this turn. That they just fake out Ogre, but I think this is our best play. Oh wait, they faked out Quill. They faked out Quill. Hold on, that's fine. Wishing I went for Thunder now. Origin Pulse is going to connect. Big damage. Not as big as we needed, but they are going to Calm Mind up. Okay. I mean, we're at full health. We're going to Water Spout now. I assume they were going to actually do some damage, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. So we could just go for Water Spouts now. Ooh, they protect. Good play. Good play. Okay. I guess I should have assumed they would probably do that. Drain Punch goes into Quill. We do take the hit. Beautiful. They don't care about Ogre, which is probably our best case scenario here. They get the lefties down. Electric disappears, and they lose Quark Drive on their hands, which is beautiful. We go for another Water Spout, and we're going to lock in Bar Barrage here. That's great damage. Great damage there. Water Spout's going to connect. And take the double KO. There it is, baby. Rough start to the battle, but we managed to pull it back. And that shows the power of the Quill. Once you get the poison down with the Glamora, things get a little out of hand with that Bar Barrage. It does stupid amounts of damage. Over Quill is a slept on. Such a good Pokemon. Spicy looking team on their side, I gotta say. Spicy looking team. Okay. Definitely like that. Um, and then I think I bring these two in the back. Yeah, we're going to do that. The thing we have to be very cautious of, they have a lot of grass types. They have a lot of cool grass types too. Like freaking Scoville's really cool. Uh, Alolan Executor's really cool. Let's see what they got. Okay. So, I'm thinking Tailwind. Tailwind and Mortal Spin seems really solid here. Looks like they're not going to go for that. They actually go for Bleak Wind. Who do they miss? They miss Glamora. Jugulus is going to take that hit. That works out really well, actually. That's not the worst thing that could have happened there.
Um, I'm tempted to go for a Snarl. But I'm also tempted to just flip Ogre in. I also kind of just want to go for a Power Gem. Okay, they're going to Protect. This is actually fine for us. I'm pretty okay with this turn. There's the Tailwind. Snarl, obviously not going to connect on the Wake. That's good chip. I'm happy with that chip. They now also have Tailwind set. And we get rid of their way to reset the sun, so the weather war gets more interesting for us. There's the Groudon. They're special attack boosted, oddly enough. I think I actually want to swap in the Ogre now. And go for another Mortal Spin. Ooh, good read. Good read. They are still faster, and that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I'm down to get Quill in. Oh, uh, now the question becomes, what do they have in the back? Um... So I think there's a pretty fair chance that they bring in... I think going for Bar Barrage is probably our best bet. I'm going to Terra here as well. Groudon's going to swap. I'm hoping it's one of the Grass types that comes in. Yes. They are going to protect this turn. That makes sense. And that's excellent damage. We get the poison down, and that's really good for us as well. They are buried. Ooh. Does that get harvest? That may get harvest. Tailwind's gone, and things get a little more interesting now. I am going to get Iron Jugulus back in. Iron Jugulus comes in, and I think I go for a Protect here. So we need to control the weather. Yep, they're going to swap. Ogre goes out, we get Jugulus back. Do they make the read and KO Jugulus? Because that makes things a touch more difficult, no doubt. They do make the read. 
Jugulus goes down. However, we've done a lot of poison damage. Does this just KO? Not yet. We get an Ogre. Have they terra -ed? No Terra yet. I think I'm down to just Origin Pulse and Bar Barrage on the Groudon slot. If they make this read, I... Okay. Ooh, you know? I think this might have been a bad play. I think this might have been a bad play. Because they didn't protect. This might be bad. This could be very bad. They go for flamethrower. Took that. Down it goes. This endgame does get quite tricky now. I should have gone for the wake and just gone for an ice beam onto the ground on slot. That was the better play. I think I have to go for this and just protect this turn. They are finally going to break out their Terra. We're going to see what it is. It is Terra Fire. We protect the Overquill. Prespice Blades. Do they miss? Do they miss? No. Okay. Okay, Kyogre took one. We need to hit this Origin Pulse. Ooh. Not good. We need to hit the Origin Pulse big time here. I think I have to go for Barbarage. They go for Prespice Blades. Miss Ogre. Overquill avoids. Darn. Ah, uh, this is just GG. It's just GG. Barbarage goes in. Do we get the poison? We do! Are we speed tied with the Groudon? That's the question. This turn we protect. Oh, if we're speed tied with the Groudon, we might be in good shape. They could also miss Precipice Blades. Fingers crossed, folks. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Miss. Miss. Oh, no! GG. GG. Oh, that was, that was a good battle. That was a good battle. That was a fun battle. The better play definitely was what I needed to do was go for the walking wake with the damage and just go for an ice beam into the ground on slot. That 100% was the better play and that's where I cost myself the game. Uh, definitely needed to just go for the damage onto the Groudon. Me right on. I kind of like these two as a lead. With these two in the back. They have Tailwind, but we'll just have to kind of play around it. I think we can play the balance game around them. Maybe I'm wrong, but we'll find out. All right. I'm gonna protect Wo Chen. And I'm gonna just gonna get poison down.
What's the Gapdos doing here? The Gapdos is an interesting bring on the Maridon team. I'm kind of here for it. I'm kind of here for it. Alright, we protect Wo Chien. They Volt Switch. That's a lot of damage. What comes in? Whimsicott! Thunderous Kick, not gonna connect. Good damage. Alright, I'm just gonna go for the Leech Seed here. They probably just Tailwind and Thunderous Kick again. Yep. Defense drops. Their Life Orb. We get the Whimsicott. Don't miss. Thank you. I was going to be very sad if we missed. Getting a lot of chip down here. What comes in now? Rillaboom. It's very odd to see Rillaboom on a Miraidon team. I have to say, quite odd. And I have no quarrel just doing this. Actually, do I really care that much? I think I just do this and protect. They're going to withdraw. Ooh, I kind of wish I went for Mortal Spin because if they go for the Wo Chien here. If they go for the Wo Chien here, I get a double poison. Nope, they're going to set spikes. Okay. I want to get Ogre in now. They have two more turns of Tailwind. So I think what I want to do is go for the Ice Beam onto the Rillaboom and get a Leech Seed down. We'll see if they allow it. That's going to be the big thing. Are they going to allow the Leech Seed to go down? Did we Terra? I really hope we terra Yes, okay.
Okay. Drop your stats. That's fine with me. They go for wood hammer. We should take that. Yep. That's a good turn for us. Nice. We get our leech seed down. That's beautiful. And we get an ice beam down. Alright, now I'm thinking I go for an Ice Beam there, and I Pollen Puff the Rillaboom. Yep, they're gonna pull it. That's what we wanted to see. That's what we wanted to see. They're gonna go for another Wood Hammer, we take that. Yep. Colin Puff KOs the Rillaboom. And Ice Beam should KO no problem here. Yep. Beautiful. Get some recovery on Wo Chen. Their Tailwind's gone. Now they're poisoned. Even better for us. Now I have to consider... Um... We have three more turns of rain. I'm kind of down to just go for damage. And get a leech seed down. They're gonna Terra. Terra Fairy, that's fine. Because they're poisoned. If they KO one of my Pokemon this turn, I'm actually pretty okay with that. Oh, they have D Gleam. How about that? Okay. I'm pretty okay with it. Ice Beam's gonna go off. Because we have Overquill in the back, baby. That's what's important. There it is. Um, I'm gonna go for Thunder in Bar Barrage. Bar Barrage takes a KO, no doubt. GG. That's a beautiful end game right there. Very positional. Wo Chien did so much. It did so much. Made them, it just forced them to switch constantly, and I loved every minute of it. There's a team once more for you guys. Is it the best team I've ever built? Probably not, but it is a lot of fun to get that Overquill Bar Barrage roll in once Glamora starts setting poison. It's a very, very fun combo. So I definitely recommend you guys try it out. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But if you enjoyed the video at any point, leave a like and sub for more videos like this in the future. And also be sure to check out the Discord where you can share Reg G teams like this one to be featured here on the channel. But until next time, peace.